Hello everybody, my name is Tesla to Bernadette Bear from Bear Science Lab. That intro has become obsolete over the years. And today, we will be starting the flag series. Starting it off with Afghanistan. Now, we will be going to 196 countries in this series. And first, I would like to give a brief introduction to Afghanistan, as I will with all other countries in this series. Now, Afghanistan started a very long time ago, when 50,000 years ago, it was inhabited by Homo sapiens. Uh, it started to increase trade with its neighbors, such as India. But, well, over the years, it was conquered by many different empires, such as the Safavid Empire, the Persian Empire, and many more. And, well, finally, after a communist takeover, it declared independence and wrote a new constitution. It also had a British takeover, and there was a lot of blood spilled in the creation of the independent um, Afghanistan nation. Now the thing is, it seems that Afghanistan may fall to another power again, this time the Taliban, which I talk about in the book, my book, The Love, as the Taliban has gained full control over 18 of the 400 districts of Afghanistan. And that number is only growing as Joe Biden is pulling uh, the USA out of the war. So, well, I have hope for Afghanistan. Hopefully, it can pull through its uh, time of struggles and its dark past. The president of Afghanistan currently is President Ghani, who is in control of the 382 districts that have not yet been taken over by the Taliban. It's currently recognized as the government. And this, uh, this government ha hosts a population of about 38.04 million people. All right, and you think that when I've seen this flag, I always see the black as bigger than the red. We'll discuss the flag meanings at the end, okay? So, the population is 38.04 million people, and as I have told you, it was um, stuck under many empires, including the British, until eventually it broke free of the British in 1919. And fun fact, that's written on the new flag, and then it was t taken over again by the communists around 1973. What do you think happened when you're a tiny nation that just become independent and there's the USSR right on your border? And then, well, <coughs> there was an independence after the USSR. Then the current constitution was drafted in 2004. And that's uh, how, I've, I think, 2004 or 2014, I'm not sure which. And that's how Afghanistan was created today. I think it was uh, 2004. By the way, let's talk about when the flag was changed. The current flag came into use in 2002. And there was a bit of modifications in 2004 and 2012. All right. I mean 2013. All right, now it's time to talk about the emblem. The emblem. Now it's time to get into some real detail. How to detail it? All right, so I'll have to go get into some real detail when I'm doing this stuff. So, hmm, let's do the emblem like this. So, in the meantime, we can discuss about what this emblem really means. So, what are these? Well, just like in the previous emblem, they are olive branches. I'm too lazy to draw the leaves, don't blame me. So, now, you have, let's go with three olive branches because there are oh, fairly a few of those leaves in the actual thing. And then, at the top, it's written in Arabic when it got independent, which is sometime in November, November 1919 from the British, but I don't exactly remember what time it was. And then you have the core thing, the mosque. The mosque at the center, I think there's something also written up here. The mosque at the center is, well, one of the most representative things of the Islamic nation. So well, you just draw the stairs inside, and I think there's a little torch in there too. And then you have two Afghanistani flags hanging out the side. 
and that I think is what the Afghanistani flag looks like. I'm not the best drawer, but that's what I think it looks like. So that's the Afghanistani flag. By the way, fun fact to all of those who have practiced Arabic, did you know that the um, national model of Afghanistan is actually Kolma? Sorry, I kind of got a uh, loose of the word Kolma. Now, the national motto of Afghanistan is Lailaha Lallahu Muhammadur Rasulullah. Now, some of you might recognize that the first Kolma or Kolima, which it is. So, that is the flag of Afghanistan. Now, what do the tricolors mean? And what does this mean? Well, the olive branches in the white color symbolize a want for peace. Now, these, as I told you, just represent well, the date it got independent. And now, what about the tricolor? It's been in almost every Afghanistani flag in the 20th century and the 21st. So, what about it? Well, the black color is used in reference to the dark past and dark history of Afghanistan, which uh, quite literally and also uh, has a dark present right now is the Taliban is taking over. Then you have the red stripe, which represents the blood spilled to get independent, especially in the Anglo-Afghani wars. And then, finally, you have the green stripe, which represents Islam. So, you have Islam there, too. And you also have the mosque, which also represents Islam. And that is the meaning of Afghanistan's flag. So... Well, now what I'm going to do is just write a giant flag word over it. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.